What's poppin' y'all? This your boy Caesar LaShore of CZR Records. And today, we've got some, you know, conversational topics um, for the record, you know. But basically, you know what I'm saying? We're just talking about music, in-depth topics surrounding just, you know, everything from current events to, uh, you know, social media, creator content, everything even from just personal care to you know, health, wellness, wealth, well-being, things, all of that nature, um, but yeah, man, this one was especially for my musicians, I was watching the music podcast, you know, of course, I watch a lot of those, you know, and one of the main topics was, does your music give you the chills, right, so we all know as listeners, right, we have songs and certain, um, you know, instrumentals even that evoke certain emotions right we all get that as the listener but you as the actual artist as the musician do you give yourself the chills right does your music give you the chills and it's something i was like that's you know that's kind of deep but it's self-explanatory but we kind of overlook it because like of course as a musician producer engineer right you done heard your own music a thousand times. You heard your own voice a hundred thousand times. So, you know, you're not always looking at it from that aspect. But there are those rare, rare occasions where it's like, damn, I surprised myself. That came out better than I thought. Damn, that, the way I'm saying it, I can envision it in my head. So it doesn't necessarily always have to be, do it evoke an emotion. But it should because you're taking yourself to that experience or to that thought or to that object that you know bought you there that moved you to write or to create or whatever aspect that was but um yeah it's even deeper than beyond just that because sometimes we look over that because we heard our own voice or heard our own track we wrote it a million times we heard it but not only just evoking the emotion does it evoke the um you know the visualization like when i hear it i can see it so especially uh, one step further as a musician or a creator, does the treatment for the music video or the visual automatically pop up when you're hearing it playing back to yourself, even, you know, after, you know, after the fact or during for that matter, like, and that was a good point because like sometimes I don't always uh, focus on the emotion of it because, you know, that was me getting it out, but when I think of it as that and the visualization, you know, aspect, I'm like, yeah, I do that all the time where now we don't have no music video for it yet. I might not even be planning on shooting a music video or visual for it, but the treatment for a music video, you know, is automatically coming to mind just by me thinking and speaking on it. And, you know, maybe we'll act on it in that case, you know what I'm saying? But that's one of them things like, you know, especially to, with the current state of like music and hip hop, especially um, compared to other genres, especially to like, you know how '90s R&B make you feel away every time. Like, it either take you back to that place or remind you of that person or even just the feeling. You know what I'm saying? You might not always remember the people, the places, or the things they did exactly, but you always remember that feeling, especially in terms of R&B. So getting that back into the music, especially in terms of hip hop, like. That's kind of one of the things, like, I feel like be missing. Like, I don't want to say all music sound the same nowadays or all music sound generic or everybody not talking about nothing, but does it really evoke that emotion? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things that's universal, universal topics, but they, they're going to evoke a certain emotion. They're going to make you feel a certain type of way. Even certain times you, you hear a certain instrument, certain, you know, a certain song or a certain, you know, 